Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of this tutorial and let's hop in right into the topic. So regarding the uh, usage of orange juice on my fingers, I also strongly suggest to use it over here on your fifth and fourth uh, finger as well as uh, on your thumb because when we play on the black keys we are usually playing with kind of flat fingers and uh, in this case when we have sticky surface of the skin over here it um, will bring more stability when we play especially if we need to play in fast tempos with jumps i mean i i said about that before so uh and this is like kind of place where it's really really um uh, you can see it very clear because we're gonna play uh, this thumb all the time on the black key, uh, key and then when we go down especially here this is so important to have some stability here when we go down so when it stick itself to the keys it works just amazing and it, it um, helps you to play everything effortless okay so uh, another trick so uh, here we have this trill in our right hand kind of three, right? Uh, and you will say that uh, there is no position change, so we don't, we can play basically like this, right? We don't have to move our elbow, but uh, it's very easy to get stiff on our hand muscles if, um, if we keep static position uh, for a long time uh, with repetitive motion like this. So I don't know how I would play it when I was a teenager, thank god I never played at that time. I was probably like, oh my god, this is the hardest part in the whole Egypt. Uh, so anyways, uh, here is a little trick that uh, you can use actually in similar parts. So what we need to do is first to establish constant moving, breathing within the muscles to avoid static that leads to tension. And uh, first, we'll need to move our elbow very clear. So as you can see on the score, uh, I circle first and third notes out of the set of four sets of notes. So that means on the first note, we're going to move elbow to the right. And on the third note, to the left. Of course, it's all connected to, with wrist movement. That is also engaged and follows the melody pattern. So the base, uh, the, uh, the basic movement looks like this. Now, when the external movement becomes um, like a blueprint for our inner sensations in muscles, we're gonna leave this movement out keeping the same sensations only internally. Uh, just like, you know, when we need to feel internal sensations better um, while intonating, we always sing out loud first because it helps to establish inner sensations. Or, you know, when we learn language, it's very good when we speak, when we speak out loud the words, um, somehow it helps us to speak uh, in our thoughts much faster. So, when um, I'm going to play basically uh, this part faster, late in this video you will see, I will remove the external movement that of course in fast tempo would be very awkward and will only uh, prevent us from playing fast and easy, keeping the same sensations internally only. So, instead of doing this, I, I swear guys, I feel it inside and that gives my muscle little movement and little space and like it's mostly like I'm vibrating over here. So in this case we can say muscles are breathing and we are safe practicing this part for hours, okay not maybe for hours but sufficient enough of time to, um, to make it. So again uh, as you can see with uh, these brackets already uh, mark to which notes we're going to take with our left hand. Um, so let me show you how it goes in slow tempo, playing with a pedal, with intonation, with articulations, with imagination. And uh, I think I have nothing to say about voicing. I mean, um, I actually heard many uh, good examples where 
uh, pianist would actually take the melody uh, on the second plan, like kind of on the background, and they would focus on this D in the right hand, like this little bell, and it's kind of, I know, you know, like, like this. constant uh, sound of this D like a little bell but I'm just going easy here guys so I'm just gonna uh, voice the melody on it so that's how it goes so you can see I take with my left hand this second as well and then together I move elbows here and from two, three in my right hand, I go to five, four, and playing this fifth in both hands together. I'll show you one more time. I think that's kind of important. Here you can change pedal, or pedal just leave it depending on the acoustic. together with fingers and let go of pedal make sure that here it's very life saving when you move your elbow when you go down and when you go up very big movement speech so I focus with musical speech on both hands I mean I have to intonate somehow my melody but again this part is for the right hand but um, basically mostly I'm keeping in mind and intonating very intensely these seconds all the way combining them with this sensation of moving my elbow basically on right and left so that's what I have in my mind <laughs> um, uh, and next uh, if you can see on the third line when I'm going down over here I feel octaves down and up also very clear combining again with a very active movement of the elbow so here I would feel basically elbow and octave down Again, when, as we know, when we intonate something with musical speech, it let um, our finger prepare faster. So this will be not only um, uh, sound all, all the time, but that would be like an anchor for us. Very important note. So we have to intonate this octave. Very expressive and very intense. And the same up. I'm intonating active up together with moving my elbow octave down moving elbow octave up moving elbow so that's regarding the musical speech let's play one one two some time
up and octave down from this. It helps to be very aware of this octave. So I think that's basically it with the commands. Now I'm just gonna head and play phrasing by Morty. faster, smaller, because I'm playing faster. from the tempo we have to also feel organically within us not just okay I'm moving my fingers slower so I'm slowing down yet no everything should go on from the inner sensations first so let's say I'm gonna keep this animated tempo for now and at the end I'm dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna feel, I'm going slow down and I'm gonna feel it really. Can I play it? Okay. And again, we combine time with uh, image, of course, with musical character time. Yeah. by every sentence, repeating several times in different tempos. So now I'm going to show you two sentences in animated tempo first. I mean, I already show. So let's go to fast tempo. So when I'm going to play, <laughs> and let's see if I would have any difficult parts right away. So when I'm going to play in this fast tempo, inside I will always have the sensation while intonating everything with musical speech and thinking about phrasing, of course. <laughs> I found this 
movement, and I said it in the beginning of the video, very important. Both hands to the left. I mean, both elbows. Uh, what else did I found? Uh, I mean, I also found this, I told you, when you go down and up, movement of elbow very important. And basically it. Uh, there wasn't, it wasn't really hard at all. Actually, I find that uh, more coming to the end, easy it becomes. It feels like the most hardest part in the beginning. Uh, I really mean it. <laughs> Tempo. Enough and see you in my next video. Bye bye.